Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a live stream where uh, Brooklyn audits, well, having to face the consequences of his frauding from his union job. So, oh, man. You gotta be, you gotta feel sorry for the guy. But hey, that's the consequences of going onto social media and acting like a damn fool. I mean, you may have the First Amendment, but when it comes to private businesses or, uh, union jobs or anything like that, you're certainly not free from the consequences of your own actions. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I was just making this panel because this might be. Either the last panel, or it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a while before I come back. You know. Oh, go ahead and regale us with your tale of stupidity. Go on, tell us. What's well, going on, Brooklyn? Why, why are you, t why are you, uh, why are you saying this might be the last one for a while? Eh, it's gonna be for a little bit. I got, a, I got a lot of things going on, and you know, since the union kicked me out, it's been six weeks since I've been working. It's just been, it's been a rough road. Well, I guess all those arrests have finally come to bite you in the ass. And uh, judging by your Social Blade account, you're getting the views, but you're not getting the money because, well, I suppose it's all that swearing you do. Hell, you're making a lot less money than I am on YouTube, and I don't even have that many subscribers compared to you. I don't even have 10,000 yet, and yet you're just about at 100,000. And you make less money than I do? That's sad. The union kicked me out because of my arrest on July 4th. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, I was with my daughter. Yeah, I was with my daughter, and I wasn't even, like, really ordered in the cops. I was giving everyone a tour of Coney Island. Then it started downpouring, and, you know, we're all running for cover. A lot of people heard this story already, and then the cops started pushing me out. When there's hundreds of people all around standing there for cover, they go after me because they know who I am, and I'm, I'm with a camera, you know? Oh, yeah, really? Like, it didn't have anything to do with you being uh, stone-cold drunk? Uh, yeah, that had nothing to do with it. And, yeah, uh, uh, you were the only one there with a the camera? Uh, hundreds of people and nobody else had a camera? Uh, that's really hard to believe, especially since it was the 4th of July at Coney Island where there would be uh, video cameras galore with most everybody. Yeah, right. Yeah, that had to be it, the video camera. So they charged me with disorderly conduct on July 4th. And uh, what happened was I had my union ID with me, which I never carry it. For some reason, I must have left it in my wallet. So they found out where I was working. They took the union ID. They took pictures of it. And then two days later, I got suspended from work. And then I, I've been out of work since. So, dude, it really had nothing to do with uh, you... Uh being drunk and acting like a damn fool the whole time and trying to audit the police officers while you were surrounded. I mean, yeah, it had nothing to do with that. Uh, yeah, okay. Why don't you stop blaming others and just try to look at a mirror and realize maybe you're the one at fault for all of your problems and try to fix them instead of, uh, oh, I don't know, scapegoating? And then what happened was I had to go to a hearing over it. It was a two-day hearing, and then it came down to where I had to either resign or get terminated. Now, if you get terminated, you can't work for another union. You're done. If you resign, you resign. You could work somewhere else, but then you can't collect unemployment. You know, so you're fucked either way. So I ended up just resigning. Yeah, I don't buy that story. But anyway, uh... When it comes to this kind of thing, you got to ask yourself, was it really worth it? I mean, how many times were you arrested for clicks and views? And how many, how much money did you actually make off of it? Because according to Social Blade, you're getting nearly millions of views, but not all that much money. I mean, part of it has to do with your language. If you would edit it out, maybe, and uh, not, or not curse as near, near, nearly as much. Because that was a huge part of your issue. You couldn't monetize it because of that. But hey, you're the one who screwed yourself over. Don't go crying to everybody else and blaming them. So let's carry on. 
Of course they did. It was retaliation. Retaliation. I mean, did you at least get a them. decent severance? No, all I got was my week's salary and my uh my week's vacation pay. That was it. Oh, that sucks, man. And that was uh five weeks ago. <laughs> you you weren't vested at all with uh like a retirement fund or anything like that? Well yeah, I put into that, but uh it wasn't much. I was only there for a year. So oh, I got you. Okay. Just to to take anything out, you, you, you gotta pay so many fines, this and that, the taxes, right. it's not even much. It's not much yet. No, nah, I get it, man. Stupid. Yeah, sorry you to know? hear that, man. Well, dude, we all have a path to choose in life, and in some cases we choose a good path, but in his case he chose poorly. <sighs> So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, to uh, Brooklyn Audits, may you have better choices in the future. Until next time, guys, I will see you on the next one.